Hello everybody, Ragtag Zagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we went around and take out this little base here, which also destroyed this prototype of a Soviet helicopter we called a Hein. Uh, trust me, you want to destroy this because it's going to make a part of a game, a, uh, a later part of the game, so much easier. We also destroyed their ammo and food supplies, so that should greatly hinder them. Now, before I go down that path, because I believe going down that path automatically triggers a boss fight. I just want to have a quick look at the trees, because I forget if there's something in the trees worth noting, or if there's another hornet's nest that will be worth getting, because I there is a trick involving a hornet's nest, but I don't know if it works if it's rotten. Like the one I think I have currently in my food. Which I think I got rid of. Shit. Well, um, I might have to save showing that for like, um, for like one of the bonus videos. Yeah, I don't see anything at all, so... So let's make our way down. Now, I believe, like I mentioned before, if you go down this path, you will be immediately encountering a boss fight. So, let's go. Last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. Point the cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. It's just you and me, no one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures, they prefer to hunt alone. This time I've got 12 shots. Right, time for a boss fight with Ocelot. So let's get on the radio and see what everyone has to say. Snake, the only way to proceed is to fight. You have to defeat Ocelot. You can't jump over that crevice, and hand-to-hand -hand combat is out of the question. You'll have to shoot it out with him. Take cover behind something and wait for an opening. Then attack him in first-person view. Ocelot is using a revolver. Revolvers take a long time to reload when they run out of bullets. When he stops to reload, that's your chance to attack. Snake, you won't survive a fall into that crevice. Make sure you don't fall into it while rolling by mistake. There's a hornet's nest over by Ocelot too. If it drops on him, it might just create an opening. Try shooting it down. That guy is using a single-action army. It's a six-shot, 45 caliber revolver. 
the only drawback is that because it's a revolver, it's a pain in the ass to reload. Ocelot will be open to attack while he's reloading. Use that window to unload on it. Ocelot has two single-action army revolvers that gives him 12 bullets in all. Keep a close eye on his remaining rounds. When he stops to reload, open fire. Ocelot is a force to be reckoned with. Don't even think about running away. The only way to proceed with the mission is to defeat him. They say that Ocelot can hit targets hiding behind obstacles by using ricochet shots. Rocks and trees won't protect you. If you stay too long in the same spot, you'll only be making yourself an easy target. Don't stand still. Keep moving. I'm not sure why, but Ocelot seems to have a thing for his cap. You might be able to get him to let down his guard by shooting it off his head. All the exits are being blocked by members of the Ocelot unit. They're fiercely loyal to Ocelot. Even if Ocelot ordered them not to get involved, they might just step in to back him up if he gets in trouble. If you get attacked by one of the Ocelots, use a grenade or something to fight back. All right, let's start the fight. So like Ida mentioned, Ocelot, if you remember, he is good at shooting people behind cover. So don't stay in cover for too long because it will not protect you. Also a few ways you can gain an advantage over him. For example, those hornets. Shoot down a hornet nest, the hornets will go to attack Shut him. Up. He'll fight off the hornets by twirling his guns, and then you can just unload on him while... Like Ada mentioned, they will occasionally shoot it at you. You know, I thought they mentioned that there were hornets over here because they say like, oh, there's hornet nets on Ocelot's side as well, making it seem like there are hornets here. I've never felt a tension like this before. That's so different from simply changing a clip. Time is exhilarating. So that's his first reload. Now, one thing to note, the longer the fight goes, the faster he gets at his reloading because he's learning how to use his revolver. Um not bad. Uh, I think camouflage makes it, uh, so that way he takes longer to figure out where you are if you're behind cover. Which I have nothing that's better, really. The gecko is better? How? Okay. Whatever you say, game. One of those stupid frogs are in this fight? Ow! Ah, you're all dark, huh? Stupid snake. Pick up the snake! King Cobra. Uh, will paramedic mention anything about the King Cobra in this fight? Snake, have you been bitten by a venomous animal? Yeah. It looks like the poison is already starting to affect you. Unless you cure it, your life will just keep decreasing. You've got to treat it now. To cure poison, go into Cure in the Survival Viewer and administer a serum injection. Ocelot's pistol uses really powerful bullets, and he's a crack shot too. So if he hits you, you'll probably be severely wounded. If you get seriously wounded, go into the Survival Viewer right away and treat it with Cure. Got it? All right, no, I don't think she's gonna talk about the cobra. Uh, cure. Uh, 
It's, oh, it's in medicine. Yeah, where is this stupid... That's so different from simply changing the clip. How did none of those bullets hit him? Okay, so you can shoot off his cap. This will eventually help you because. Now, one thing, if you go here... I love it! Yeah, so if you come here, you'll trigger this little quick draw. You fool! Ow! Forget if any of the other characters actually comment while you trigger it. Ocelot can use ricochet shots to attack? Then you won't be safe anywhere, not even behind an obstacle. Don't stay in one spot for too long or you'll make yourself an easy target. Stay alert. Amazing. I never knew reloading could be- Wow, he's already going for a reload? <laughs> and I need to cure myself from bullets. Uh, let me see. Pull the bullet out with a knife. Apply a bandage. Put the septic and disinfect it. I hear the. Where is it? In that range, huh? Not bad. Ow. Like, I hear it when it goes off here, so I don't know where in the boss fight it is. This reload time is exhilarating. And now he's gone behind the tree, I think, so that way I can't hit him. Seriously. Yeah, I can hear it. Where are... There it is! Yeah, so as you can see, he's now going to start reloading faster. Basically, he's getting better as, with his revolvers as the fight goes on. I'm surprised he's not trying to get his hat back, because I know if you shoot his hat off, he'll eventually try to go get it. Also, you might notice the detail of a few hornets starting to come in.
we'll meet again. We managed to escape. We landed down here. Here at the bottom of the crevice. I think we'll save and then in the next episode we'll start making our way down here. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode and share the video so more people can discover my content help the channel grow. And I will see you all next time. La later after we hear if what paramedic has to say because I just realized I wasn't saving during that during that outro see what movie paramedic might mention this time snake have you seen 007 from Russia with love nah, I don't like those movies real spies are nothing like James Bond it's pure fantasy snake I don't think the major is going to like you saying that and even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You could make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. <laughs> okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hm. To tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative, and to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your codename to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. Well, it's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks.